Good morning! We are headed out to the Houston Museum of Natural Science. We are headed over on this morning of Halloween to see the Body Worlds exhibit. <gasps> Yay! Are we so excited? Yes. Yes, we have some fun people coming. Who's coming? Genevieve. And who else? Uncle Nicholas. There we go. Are we so excited? Yes. Yes. Have we been learning about the body? Yeah. Marilyn, did you learn about the body? Have you been playing with your squishy man? Yes. Do you want to go see real bodies? Yeah. Yeah. What parts do you think we're going to see? We're going to see the brain. The brain. What else are we going to see? We're going to see the muscles. The muscles. What else? The stomach. Stomach. What else? The next muscles. Also, but not least. Also, but not least. Boom. Boom. Hey. Uh, what's today? I know, Halloween. Halloween. What do you say? Happy Halloween. exhibit are um, an additional purchase and as you know I always advocate for memberships well the membership saved us literally half the price of the ticket so the regular tickets for non-members are $30 and our member tickets were only 15 that's a steal okay, we are headed over to the will call kiosk to pick them up This is very appropriately themed for today. Fantastic, and then I just have to mark them with Mark real quick. Oh, and the second half down there. Okay. Okay, cool. And you're all good, fantastic. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great time today. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's go see some stuff. Hey guys, back up. Marilyn, give people some space, okay? No, we're gonna go this way. These are gonna be different sizes of children when they're baby babies, when they're first conceived, before they're born. That's why you can skip this. There's warnings everywhere. Mm -hmm. Did you miss that one? Did you want to skip? <laughs> yeah, this exhibit is going to be very popular. It's just going to get very busy. Back up, sister. And this is the bypass. Some people would like to skip that. 
Yeah. Triggering. Do you think they're real? Oh, they're actual? Yeah, not the whole everything. Game. I bet you it is. I believe that's the case. Okay, this is the placenta. That placenta is baby sac. So when the baby is in the uterus, it's inside a protective sac. And that is the placenta. Placenta grows babies. So interesting. Are all anatomical There you go. That answers your question. Look at that. Look, yes, I promise, they're all real. We do have a body man, he's really cool. He's a squishy body man. Because, okay, so do you see this kind of semi-transparent stuff in the front? That's cartilage, but cartilage breaks down and the bone does not break down. So there's ligaments and muscles and all kinds of things that hold your bones together in the right spot. So just like a fossil of dinosaurs, without having those brackets to hold it together right now, they wouldn't stick together. They'd just be a loose pile of bones. So they need something to hold it together while the other parts but actually break they down. Just yep, so they just they're holding it together. Because the parts that actually do that bones, break down and gross. decompose. Isn't that gross? It's kind of cool. Inside. And look, they just they cut it so you can see inside it. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there's all the different pieces of the skull that fuse together. Isn't that you know so cool? there were cool? bones in your ear? There are important bones in your ear. They keep you upright. Mm -hmm. See, look, and here's, here's, they show you different pieces in the ear. Because that's the inside of your ear. Oh, there's a shoulder. And look at all the pieces of the skull. They fuse together. Funny bones. Where's the funny bone? <laughs> Marilyn, stay close, friend. Look, Come here. Can you ever just suck in it, Marilyn? Look over here. Look it right is. on the end of that one. Can you see the end of the bone? The hand has 27 bones. That's insane. You see it's quite red. That's because there's blood vessels that run through there. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. They're using those little tools to hold it open so you can see the, the artificial joints. These are artificial joints they've replaced because you can do that now. So sometimes when people get, get injuries, they have to do things in what? order to, to make it so that they can keep using their, this is really cool. their arms or legs. It's they disturbing will, and creepy, but it's way they cool. They will fix their joints and they'll use artificial parts to fix them. Uh, Mamma has a knee like that. Mm -hmm. That is Great-grandpa and great-grandma, I think. I think great grandma has two. Oh, there's the hip. Look, these are Miss Cookie's hips. Aren't Miss Cookie's hips? That's Miss Cookie's hips. Can I see what it looks like? That's Miss Cookie's hips. She has two titanium hips. Ooh, there's a hole in the back. That's cool. So cool. These are incredibly thin slices. Uh, I don't know if they have it here, but in the one we saw before, there was the whole body in these micro slices, and so it spread way out, and you could like walk between and look. Isn't this just like the magic school bus? <laughs> they skinned it. They took the skin off. That's the skin. From that person. Covers the entire body. How cool is that?
Yeah. It's the brain. <laughs> the brain. Your hobby, that Look, is now where's your brain? No, that's not your brain. Where's your brain? There you go. Good job. There are situations where people is it in there? get hit really hard in the head. Somebody told me about it, yeah. <laughs> it's like a little model at Target. It's squishy really man. And you and can so take it all apart. Like your and like skin gets the organs are like but when squishy. But when your brain They're obsessed with it. They will not stop playing with it. Her favorite thing to do is take it out. There's an organizer. So you lay out all the organs. <laughs> She's even fussed right now with taking it apart and putting it back together. Well, you can also tell your hands are much more sensitive than other parts of your body, so notice there's a lot more nerve endings in your hands and in your feet. But not so much in your thighs. Or anywhere in the chest. <laughs> What's that, Chick? Marilyn, did you see the brain? Did you see the brain, Marilyn? Come here. Come here. I see you Come seeing here. you. There's for here. It's reflective. There's two of me. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah. Big cataracts. So they're showing you what they painted, but what they probably saw. Like when you see it, like I mean, technically you understand what it is, right? And you've seen it on like an MRI, but like yeah. you can see that in relation to the, the one we saw over there, and it is a straight up different color. Mm -hmm. I well, and because it's it's basically dying, right? Because there's not a blood supply. Like they're telling you about the um, centenarians. You know what a centenarian is? No. Somebody who is a hundred or older. They've made it to one hundred years. Look at how awesome they are. Oh no, the heart. Good job. But again, look inside the heart. Look how how it's got all that space. But your heart actually contracts to pump the blood. Yeah. They're telling you that a heart is a muscle and a normal heart weighs 300 grams, but an athlete's heart, because they work it out so much, can weigh up to 500 grams. Oh my god, it still looks like a shrek. That's so cool. It's on the head. Oh, yeah. That is your head. That is my head. Good job. Look at that. Where do you think those arteries come from? I know. Well, you know. It comes from blood. Yes, but what? Where do you think those ar arteries are in the body? In your foot. It looks like a foot. 
body. Yeah. That, yeah. They're cool. It's so they're blood yeah. vessels. Yeah. Look, Marilyn, a spleen. This is your spleen. Back mm -hmm. of your hips. Yeah. Yeah. It does kind of look like your hips. An enlarged what is that? A spleen. It's an organ. I don't know what it actually does. <coughs> actually, lymphatic it tissue does. breaks down old blood cells. Yeah, let's see how it has when somebody's blood. Yeah. Hey, there's more downstairs. Okay, so there's actually more to this exhibit. Okay. Did you like it? Yeah. Marilyn, what's that? What are those? Yeah. What is it? Do you remember? It was from Squishy Guy. I know. What is the Squishy Guy? What is that? The Squishy Guy has... Mm -hmm. What is it? It's in here. It's his lungs. Long. And his esophagus. Remember his esophagus? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's in Squishy Guy. Yeah. What is it, Marilyn? Do you remember what it's called? It's called... Marilyn. Intestine. Because I decided we were going to study the human body. And we were going to come here. There is a magic schoolhouse for every system of the body. Magic schoolhouse or schoolhouse rock. Do you know what that is? A liver. Do we, does squishy man have a liver? <gasps> Talking about obesity versus a healthy weight. That's a bad one. Yep. That's what they're saying. You do see the kidney. Great job. These are reproductive organs of females and males. I'm a female. You're a female. And so this is what your reproductive system looks like on the inside. Look, you see this little thing right here? That's the uterus, and that's where the baby is grown. Look at how little it is. 
and it expands to hold a giant old baby. Giant. Yeah. Oh look, it's the squishy man parts. It's the squishy man parts. What do you see? Yeah. Do you see the esophagus? I love you. Do you see the esophagus and the lungs? The heart. And now do you see the diaphragm? The diaphragm is this part at the bottom. Do you see it? How it goes across under the lungs? And that one sees the intestine. Mm -hmm. A weird intestine. And then the liver and the stomach. That's a broken stomach. I think they're op have it cut open so you can see inside it. What does that look like? It does look like a ballerina. I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Is that the one that's that's the one that's on the the, the logo? Yeah. The um. Oh gosh, she doesn't have a brain. Yeah, because that, that's because they that's cut the them apart. Half. That's oh, one half goodness. and the other half. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys, how did you think they made these? What? Ew! Ew. Enabling the individual anatomical structures to appear. And, the, and then the door suddenly came open. And it's just like how they um how they find like fossils to protect them. They take one little layer at a time. Good anatomical and then he knowledge did, and manual and skills. Preparation requires more patience. Okay, thanks for coming along on our trip to the Houston Museum of Natural Science to see the Body Worlds exhibit. I personally really liked it. I'm super glad that we spent some time in our science learning about the body before we came because I feel like that gave some of our friends a little bit more of an insight into what we were seeing. Did you guys have fun? Yes. And it was really weird at the body place. It was, huh? Yeah. You did still have fun? I still had fun too. We still did not go to the butterflies. Okay. It is okay. All right. So thanks so much for coming along. If you find any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I will have the HMNS link for the Body Worlds tickets uh, down below in the description box. So scroll down and, uh, and click that if you're interested in getting yourself some tickets.